I'd like to remove this paint from the DR350 fuel tank tonight. I can't get it to run right, but maybe we can make it look better. I mean to stay on topic tonight because Camera Girl is feeling ill. But she's a soldier, and I appreciate that. To take this paint off, I'm going to try a variety of different chemicals. I have gasoline, carburetor cleaner, acetone, brake fluid, and paint stripper. Everything except the stripper I already had in the workshop. Well, the acetone was at my dad's house, but he said I could use it for this project. I'm really curious to see if common garage stuff works as well as the specialized product. I also have the gas tank from the XL600 that I dismantled a few days ago. We can do the same test on this tank to see if what works best here also works well here. I don't know what kind of paint either of these are, but it's a good test of versatility. I'm pretty sure this is latex. This is camo, mossy oak, duck boat. <laughs> so let's get started. I'll begin with the cheapest, most common thing that people probably have in the shop, gasoline. I just broke out the IV pole today and it's already the second time I've used it. Pretty handy. I'll raise this up, make it high octane. You just missed a Josh Groban moment there. I don't know what's worse, my jokes or my singing. <laughs> yeah. I don't think gas will take this off because it looks like this paint has been on here for a while and very likely gas has been spilled on here. But we'll dribble a little bit and brush it around. That's not cutting it at all. I'm thinking gas is useless on this paint. We'll try it on the olive drab. Same situation here. Look how intact the paint is all around the gas cap opening. That would be gone probably if gas would cut it. I don't think gas is useful for either one of these. How about you? No, I don't think so. So we'll move on. Brake fluid was something I didn't plan on using when I was first thinking about this video. But then I remembered people warned that it can take off paint. So let's see if we can take advantage. <clears throat> Q-tip is turning blue. So maybe we'll dribble a little bit on here and leave it sit while we test some others. Don't you want to try the brake fluid on the other gas tank? Yeah. So remember brake fluid is right here. All right. Very important. I'm not impressed by the brake fluid so far. Even if it works, I want faster action than what I'm seeing. Acetone. It takes off nail polish. Varnish. I think that the acetone will work. Just based off my experience with it in the past. Acetone on the Q-tip. Okay. Was I right or was I right? There you go. 
So we can cast the brake fluid aside for sure. Not even going to worry about that. What about acetone on the other gas tank? Or are you just doing this halfway? <laughs> You're keeping me on track, thank you. What would I do without you? <laughs> I got some on the Q-tip. Ooh. This paint is resistant to acetone. You may be right that this is latex. And this is probably spray paint. There's your second missed opportunity to sing. I don't hear anyone complaining. <laughs> Carb cleaner next. On the Q-tip. Okay. Just about the same or maybe better than the acetone. Over here now. Very comparable to the acetone on this paint too. Might be similar products. Yeah, hardly cuts through it at all. So carburetor cleaner and acetone are viable for this tank, but not this one. We'll move on to the paint stripper now. I'm doing this for all of you guys watching. I paid $10 for the stripper. $10 is a lot for a stripper, in my opinion. <laughs> Just wear gloves. I'm skeptical of it because usually when they advertise how healthy it is, it probably doesn't work as well as the real nasty stuff. It's true. I think a benefit of using carb cleaner or acetone to remove paint over paint stripper is if you have a tank that you want to remove somebody else's paint but not the original finish because factory paint on a gas tank is impervious to acetone gasoline and carb cleaner this stuff might take it off yeah if it doesn't work can i return it i should shake it first I used a lot of stripper when we painted the Shasta and I got to the point where I knew how long my gloves would last. So you think this will eat away the gloves? If it strips the paint, it will eat your gloves away, I think, or make them bubble and blister. I'll have to watch for that. So the instructions probably say to leave it on the finish. After 30 minutes, scrape a small test area. I'm really not interested in slow playing it, but for the sake of the experiment, we'll put some on there and I need a flat spot on this one. I'm not impressed with the consistency of that stripper. It should be thicker. It looks pretty runny. You sound like an expert. You've done a lot of stripping. <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> there we are. That's level-ish. We'll leave that sit for 30 minutes and give you a chance to get out of the fumes. How you holding up? I'm okay. Not fading yet? No. <laughs> it's been about 45 minutes since we applied the paint stripper. I went inside ate a tamale, read some of your comments from the previous video. A lot of you guys said that you think the problem with the DR350 is the carburetor jetting. And it's possible, but I don't think that's it because of the way it fluctuates up and down. It's almost like a radio wave. <laughs> you guys think I don't know? Stay on track. That, I'm getting sick. That metal blocks radio waves? Haven't you seen my other hat? Oh. I've got the cap to the carburetor cleaner here. We'll see if this paint stripper cut through the paint. 
Here's how it works on the untreated paint. And here we go on the doctored. It works. It does the job. There's a lot of rubbing involved. Will it wipe off? Not really. Oh, that's pretty disappointing. In your vast experience with paint strippers, one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the most effective, how would you rate the paint and varnish clean strip green? I give it a five. I'm not impressed. Let's see how it worked on the XR600. Look, it didn't even take that off. Look at all the rubbing. 45 minutes. And let's see what it did here. I told you it sucked. Come on now. This is a backyard paint job. Oops. And the clean strip can't even beat it. Can't even take it off. So I think the carb cleaner or the acetone is a better choice. Just the fact that it was in a plastic bottle had me concerned. The stripper should be far more nauseous than that. <laughs> nauseous is not the right word. I'm slipping. <laughs> I had a three hour nap today. It wasn't enough. That is really fascinating. <laughs> I'm sorry. Carry on. Let's see how the carburetor cleaner works on a more production scale rather than just Q-tip application. Oh. Okay. Clean strip. Tisk tisk. You should be ashamed. And we'll try the acetone in the same manner. I've got some old socks. Camera girl audits my socks, takes them away once the heel goes. <laughs> That's not the whole story. <laughs> so, we'll try the acetone now. As soon as I find a hole in your sock, I put my fingers through and rip it as hard as I can. Wow! Acetone takes it right off. It does stink pretty bad in here though. That is an advantage of the paint and varnish stripper. So I will strip off all of this paint with the acetone and the carb cleaner. Let you guys know how it looks when it's all done. Well, I got most of the paint off the tank. Despite the fumes, I didn't asphyxiate myself. By far, the best product was carburetor cleaner for removing the paint, followed by acetone. There's still work to do, but I used up both of these. Sorry, Dad. I'll buy you more. Hopefully, they still sell it in California. This came out all right, but as I expected, it's not immaculate underneath the paint. Looks like maybe somebody sanded it or maybe rode the motorcycle through some brush. I'll get some more chemicals, finish this up. You didn't get my high octane joke earlier. Oh, thank you. All right, there we go. <laughs> you were trying to put that thing together with Josh Groban. If you're interested in watching yesterday's video, I'll put a link to that up on the screen. And if you'd like to see what happens next, I'll put tomorrow's up there as well. Thanks for watching. It's time for a strong cup of tea.